Hi, today I'm doing an interpretation of Richard Letterer's Crazy English. He wrote a book called Crazy English in 1990, and this is one of the most quoted pieces from his book. Listen and enjoy. English is a crazy language. Let's face it, English is a crazy language. There is no egg in eggplant, nor ham in hamburger, neither apple nor pine in pineapple. English muffins weren't invented in England, or French fries in France. Sweetmeats are candies, while sweetbreads, which aren't sweet, are meat. We take English for granted. But if we explore its paradoxes, we find that quicksand can work slowly. Boxing rings are square. And a guinea pig is neither from Guinea, nor is it a pig. And why is it that writers write? But fingers don't fing. Grocers don't gross. And hammers don't ham. If the plural of tooth is teeth, why isn't the plural of booth beef? One goose, two geese. So one moose, two meese. One index, two indices. Doesn't it seem crazy that you can make amends but not one amend? If you have a bunch of odds and ends and get rid of all but one of them what do you call it? If teachers taught, why didn't preachers prot? If a vegetarian eats vegetables, what does a humanitarian eat? Sometimes I think all the English speakers should be committed to an asylum for the verbally insane. In what language do people recite at a play? And play at a recital? ship by truck and send cargo by ship have noses that run and feet that smell how can a slim chance and a fat chance be the same while a wise man and a wise guy are opposites you have to marvel at the unique lunacy of a language in which your house can burn up as it burns down, in which you fill in a form by filling it out, and in which an alarm goes off by going on. When the stars are out, they are visible, but when the lights are out, they are invisible. And why, when I wind up my watch, I start it. But when I wind up this essay, I end it. Now I know why I flunked my English. It's not my fault. The silly language doesn't know quite whether it's coming or going.